Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Around the Association. Now, Michael B. Jordan has been out promoting uh, the upcoming release uh, of Creed 3. Uh, it is uh, him not only acting, but he's actually directing this film as well. So it's been a very big moment for him. Now, recently, Michael B. Jordan was on the red carpet and he bumped into an old classmate from back in Newark and one that didn't necessarily treat him uh, with the most respect when he was just a, you know, a nobody before he became a big celebrity. Uh, her name's L'Oreal and she had this to say in a earlier interview that Michael B. Jordan brought back up. She said, you know what's so crazy? I went to school with Michael B. Jordan at a point in life. We went to Chad Science Academy together in Newark. And to be honest with you, we teased him all the D time because his name was Michael Jordan. Let's start there. And he was no Michael Jordan, she said. And he also would come to school with a headshot. We lived in Newark. That's the hood. We would make fun of him like, what you gonna do with your stupid headshot? And now look at him. So yeah, you know, he was what I guess his classmates at the time considered a cornball because he wasn't clowning around in school or something, some uh, reportedly cool enough for the cool kids in school. He was more focused on his future. You know what I'm saying? So. I find that interesting and, and should be a life lesson. And so when she tried to come back like, oh yeah, I knew you from school. It wasn't this uh, warm reception. You could tell Michael B. Jordan was uh, guarded. Take a look here at what he had to say. Mona Hustle Show, we got Michael B. Jordan, the director and the star of Creed 3. And you know, we know each other. We go way back all the way to Chad Science in Newark, okay? Okay. Okay. Yo, so, I mean, <laughs> you know, the corny kid, right? And I know a lot of people online were saying, you know, hey, that's just, you know, how kids are. A lot of us did stupid stuff in school and, you know, try to do all, you know, make, make a lot of excuses, which is true. It's a lot of things I might have done in high school, middle school, whatever, picking, clowning, that... Right now, you know what I'm saying, I, you know that that was the acts of a child. You know what I'm saying? But what was crazy is the interview where she was still calling him, you know, said that he was corny. She didn't, you know, as an adult, you could be like, you know what? We used to clown and pick at him and we were wrong. You know what I'm saying? This brother here had a, a, a game plan for his life and he was trying to see that for few. He didn't want to clown and play around and be all like that in class with us. He was looking to try to, you know, make it out of Newark. But in her interview, that ain't what she said. You know what I'm saying? She was like, he was corny. We clowned him about his headshots. Still making light of it. You know, as an adult, you can you should be able to kind of speak to it from a more reflective way you know we used to clown him and now we look so stupid you know this brother he doing his thing yada 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 but you know what i got mad respect for michael b jordan you know what i'm saying because he could have really squashed her and kind of walked off from her and all that but instead you know what he did he stood there and gave her the interview like a like a true champ and all I can do is tip my hat to that because if someone has, you know, disrespect, he didn't know her that, <laughs> to be honest with you. Let's say he don't think about it and it don't bother him, but you recently said something about it? Uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to holler at you next time.